Have you ever wondered why some countries are off limits for American travelers? Geography Insider is set to explore the reasons through the maze of global geopolitics, uncovering surprising revelations. The year 2024 has brought its own set of inaccessible destinations, each carrying a unique narrative molded by history, politics, and conflict. North Korea, Syria, Yemen, Iran, Libya, Somalia, Afghanistan, Iraq, South Sudan, and Eritrea. These are the top 10 countries Americans can't visit this year. Our journey begins with North Korea. A land shrouded in mystery, North Korea is often seen through the lens of international politics and conflict. But there's more to this nation than meets the eye. Its rich history, culture, and traditions remain largely unseen by the outside world, making it an intriguing destination for those with an adventurous spirit. But why can't Americans visit? The answer lies in the complex political landscape. The Korean Peninsula has been a hotbed of political tensions since the mid-20th century, with the Korean War leaving a deep divide between the North and South. Despite the armistice signed over 70 years ago, the two nations remain technically at war, a fact that significantly affects international relations. The United States and North Korea share a contentious history with fluctuating relations marked by periods of dialogue and tension. The nuclear issue is a significant sticking point, with North Korea's pursuit of nuclear weapons posing a significant concern for global security. As a result, travel to North Korea for Americans is heavily restricted. The U.S. Department of State strongly advises against all travel to the country due to the serious risk of arrest and long-term detention. Even organized tours, which once offered a regulated way for curious travelers to explore North Korea, are now off-limits to Americans. Despite recent diplomatic efforts, entry for Americans is highly restricted due to ongoing political tensions. This makes North Korea one of the most inaccessible countries on our list. Next, we explore Syria, a country torn apart by years of devastating conflict. Syria, once a vibrant melting pot of cultures and civilizations, now stands as a stark reminder of the destructive power of civil unrest. Its cities bear the scars of a decade-long conflict that has disrupted the lives of millions and made the country a no-go zone for American travelers. The reasons for this are many and complex, but they primarily revolve around security concerns. The ongoing conflict has created a volatile environment that poses significant risks for travelers. Moreover, the presence of various militant groups and the threat of violence further exacerbate these concerns, making Syria one of the most dangerous places for Americans to visit in 2024. Yet, it's important to remember that beyond the headlines and the turmoil, Syria is a country with a rich history and a deep cultural heritage. Home to six UNESCO World Heritage Sites, Syria was once a beacon of civilization, a crossroads where East met West. Its historical cities, like Aleppo and Damascus, carry the legacy of thousands of years of human history, a legacy that continues to endure despite the ongoing conflict. But amidst the destruction, Syria's rich history and cultural heritage continue to endure, whispering tales of a time when peace and prosperity reigned in this ancient land. And perhaps, one day, when the dust of conflict settles, these tales will be heard again, not just by Syrians, but by visitors from around the world, including Americans. Moving on to Yemen, a land of ancient history and breathtaking landscapes. This Middle Eastern country, nestled at the southern tip of the Arabian Peninsula, holds a wealth of cultural and historical treasures. But beneath its enchanting facade lies a country plagued by civil unrest and conflict. Yemen has been embroiled in an ongoing civil war since 2014, which has led to a devastating humanitarian crisis. The safety risks associated with this conflict make Yemen, unfortunately, a no-go zone for Americans. The U.S. Department of State advises against all travel to Yemen due to terrorism, civil unrest, health risks, kidnapping, and armed conflict. But let's not forget that Yemen is more than just its current conflict. It's a country with a rich history dating back thousands of years. It's home to four UNESCO World Heritage Sites, including the historic city of Sana'a, with its stunning array of rammed earth and burnt brick towers. It's also the place where you'll find the pristine beaches and unique biodiversity of the Socotra Archipelago. Often described as the most alien-looking place on Earth, Socotra boasts over 700 species of flora and fauna, 
that can't be found anywhere else in the world. From the stunning architecture of Sana'a to the pristine beaches of Socotra, Yemen's beauty remains untouched, yet inaccessible to most. It serves as a poignant reminder of the untold stories and unseen places that exist behind the headlines. Iran, a country of contrasts and complexities, a land where ancient traditions coexist with modern aspirations, Iran is a tapestry of paradoxes. Known for its rich history and vibrant culture, this nation is also marred by international political tensions. Iran's political landscape is a labyrinth of power dynamics. The country has been under economic sanctions from the United States for several decades due to concerns over its nuclear program and human rights issues. These sanctions have created a gulf between Iran and the Western world, leading to restrictions for American travelers. Despite recent diplomatic efforts, the doors to Iran remain mostly closed for Americans. The U.S. Department of State has issued a Level 4 travel advisory for Iran, indicating a very high level of risk for American citizens. This advisory is due to concerns over unjust detention and the threat of terrorism, making Iran a challenging destination for American travelers. But beneath the headlines and the political rhetoric, there's another Iran, an Iran that's brimming with hospitality, history, and natural beauty. From the stunning architecture of Isfahan, the poetic ambiance of Shiraz, to the bustling metropolis of Tehran, Iran is a country of endless allure. Iran's rich cultural heritage, its warm and welcoming people, and its dramatic landscapes make it a destination of great potential, waiting to be fully discovered by the outside world. Yet, behind the political rhetoric lies a nation brimming with hospitality, history, and natural beauty. Now, let's journey to Libya, a land of ancient ruins and vast desert landscapes. This North African country, situated on the Mediterranean coast, holds a wealth of historical and cultural treasures. Libya's rich past dates back to ancient times when it was part of the Roman Empire, leaving a legacy of archeological sites that are world-renowned. But the present tells a different story. For years, Libya has been grappling with political instability and conflict. The country has been in turmoil since the fall of its long-serving leader, Muammar Gaddafi, in 2011. A power vacuum ensued, leading to a complex web of rival factions vying for control. This ongoing strife has made the country a high-risk destination for American travelers. Moreover, Libya's security situation remains precarious. Terrorist attacks and kidnappings are prevalent, particularly targeting foreigners. The U.S. government strongly advises against travel to Libya due to these risks, and obtaining a tourist visa can be a challenging endeavor. Yet, beneath the surface of conflict and instability, Libya's rich heritage endures. The country's archaeological treasures, such as the ancient Roman city of Leptis Magna and the Greek ruins of Cyrene, stand as silent witnesses to its tumultuous history. They are reminders of the country's potential as a cultural and historical epicenter, waiting for a time of stability and peace. Despite its troubled past, Libya's rich heritage and archaeological treasures stand as a testament to its enduring resilience. Somalia, a country plagued by violence and piracy. This nation on the Horn of Africa is unfortunately often associated with a myriad of security risks, making it a dangerous destination for American tourists. Despite its stunning landscapes and strategic location along the coastline of the Indian Ocean, Somalia's ongoing conflict with violent extremist groups such as Al-Shabaab, coupled with piracy incidents off its coast, have led to the U.S. State Department advising against all travel to the country. The security situation in Somalia is highly unpredictable and volatile. Hostage-taking, bombings, indirect fire attacks, and assassinations are all too common, posing a direct threat to the safety of foreign nationals. In addition, the lack of an effective national government has resulted in lawlessness in many parts of the country, further exacerbating the security situation. However, it's important to remember that Somalia is more than just its conflict. The country boasts a rich history, with ancient cave paintings in Las Gil showcasing a vibrant past. Somalia's people are known for their resilience, having endured decades of civil war and instability. The nation's culture is diverse and vibrant, with a unique blend of traditions influenced by various ethnic groups. Even in the face of adversity, Somalis continue to demonstrate their resilience, persevering in hopes of a more peaceful and prosperous future. 
While the present circumstances might prevent American tourists from experiencing Somalia's beauty firsthand, one can't help but admire the indomitable spirit of its people. Afghanistan, a land of rugged mountains and ancient history. This country, nestled in the heart of Asia, has always been a crossroads of civilizations. Its rich tapestry of cultures and traditions have been shaped by centuries of historical events and invasions. However, today, Afghanistan is more known for its ongoing conflict and terrorism threats. The country has been embroiled in constant warfare for over four decades. The instability, coupled with the presence of extremist groups, has made it one of the most dangerous places in the world. This volatile environment has led to a ban on American travel to the country for safety reasons. The U.S. Department of State has issued a Level 4 travel advisory discouraging all travel to Afghanistan due to crime, terrorism, civil unrest, and armed conflict. But let's not forget that Afghanistan is more than just its current strife. It's a country steeped in history, with remnants of ancient empires, such as the Greco-Bactrian Kingdom and the Maurya Empire. Its rugged landscapes, from the towering peaks of the Hindu Kush to the arid deserts of Kandahar, are a testament to the country's untamed beauty. Despite the challenges, Afghanistan's cultural richness and untamed landscapes continue to captivate the imagination of adventurers around the world. It stands as a stark reminder of the resilience of humanity, persisting and preserving its unique identity amidst adversity. Iraq, a country steeped in history and tradition, a land that has been a focal point of global attention for decades, Iraq is a place of profound cultural richness and historical significance. It's a country where the echoes of ancient civilizations such as Mesopotamia and Babylon still resonate, where the Tigris and Euphrates rivers continue to flow as they have for thousands of years. However, in recent times, Iraq has been more associated with conflict than its extraordinary past. The aftermath of two Gulf Wars and the rise and fall of extremist groups have left a deep scar on the country. Despite significant progress in recent years, security concerns persist making it a challenging destination for American travelers. The U.S. State Department continues to warn against travel to Iraq due to terrorism, kidnapping, and armed conflict. The risks are real and cannot be understated. As such, Iraq remains off-limits for most American tourists, with only a few exceptions for journalists, aid workers, and military personnel. Yet beneath the headlines and the ongoing challenges, Iraq is a nation striving to rebuild. Its people, resilient and proud, are working hard to reclaim their country's place in the world. They aspire to a future where their homeland is recognized not for its conflicts, but for its rich history, its vibrant culture, and its immense potential. Yet, beneath the headlines lies a nation striving to rebuild and reclaim its place as a cradle of civilization. South Sudan, the world's youngest nation, with 70% of the population are under 30 years of age, was born from decades of civil war with Sudan, its northern neighbor. South Sudan has been grappling with its own internal conflicts since it gained independence in 2011. Political instability and inter-ethnic violence have become a recurring theme in its short history, making it a high-risk destination for American travelers. The country is a volatile mix of power struggles and resource conflicts further compounded by economic hardships and humanitarian crises. Its political landscape is a maze of shifting alliances and simmering tensions where peace agreements are as fragile as the morning dew. This scenario is further exacerbated by the proliferation of arms and the presence of numerous armed groups, making safety a significant concern. Yet beneath the surface of these daunting realities lies a nation of extraordinary potential. South Sudan boasts vast tracts of untouched wilderness, teeming with diverse wildlife. It is a land where the White Nile meanders through lush wetlands and expansive savannas, offering breathtaking vistas that few have witnessed. More than just its natural beauty, South Sudan's cultural tapestry is a vibrant mix of over 60 ethnic groups, each with its own rich traditions, languages, and dances. The Dinka, Nuer, Shilluk, and other ethnic communities breathe life into this young nation, their resilience shining through in the face of adversity. Yet, amid the challenges, South Sudan's natural beauty and cultural diversity offer a glimpse into the resilience of its people. Our journey concludes with Eritrea, 
a nation shrouded in secrecy and isolation. This Horn of Africa country, bordered by Sudan, Ethiopia, and Djibouti, is often overlooked, yet holds a wealth of untold stories. Eritrea's landscape is as diverse as its history. From the sultry Red Sea coast to the cool highlands of Asmara, the nation's capital, Eritrea's topography is a study in contrasts, a metaphor perhaps for its political landscape. Eritrea's strict government control and limited access for foreigners, particularly Americans, is a testament to its complex relationship with the outside world. The government's stringent regulations and restrictions on international travel have earned Eritrea a reputation as one of the most closed-off countries globally. The Eritrean government's tight grip on power has resulted in a nation that remains largely unexplored by outsiders. Its isolation has preserved its cultural heritage, making Eritrea a veritable time capsule of traditions and customs. However, this isolation has a price. The lack of foreign influence and investment has hindered Eritrea's development, leaving it with untapped potential and a wealth of resources that remain largely unexplored. Yet, behind the closed doors lies a land of untapped potential, waiting for the day when its beauty can be shared with the world. Imagine a day when the vibrant markets of Asmara, the ancient ruins of Kohaido, and the unspoiled beaches of the Dalak Archipelago are open for all to experience. For now though, Eritrea remains a mystery, a hidden gem awaiting the day it can shine. And there you have it, the top 10 countries Americans can't visit in 2024. From the secrecy shrouded North Korea to the isolated landscapes of Eritrea, each of these nations holds a unique narrative born from history, politics, and conflict. Despite the barriers keeping American travelers at bay, the allure of these nations endures, fueled by their rich cultures, stunning landscapes, and resilient people. In Syria, Yemen, and Libya, the echoes of ancient history resonate amidst the contemporary unrest. Iran and Iraq, nations of contrasts and complexities, continue to intrigue us with their untold stories. Somalia and South Sudan, despite their struggles, offer glimpses of hope through their vibrant cultures and natural beauty. Afghanistan, a land of rugged mountains and ancient history, captivates our adventurous spirits, even as it remains off-limits. Each of these destinations offers a glimpse into a world often hidden from view, shaped by complex histories and ongoing challenges. Please leave a like and subscribe to Geography Insider for more on countries, conflicts, and cultures.